so. It's just beginning your God, I cannot believe I am filming this right now. Today is April 22nd, 2022, and I just found out that I was accepted into the Disney College program, more specifically the Disney Cultural Exchange program, which is the international version of the Disney College program. This is huge and so exciting because I've dreamed of doing the GCP for so long like i just turned 22 and i've been dreaming about this since i was like 10 years old and now it's finally happening i thought this was gonna happen in 2020 but obviously miss corona came in the pandemic started and we found ourselves in a panini so at that point my program was canceled but now i'm filming this video for you which feels so surreal because honestly even two hours ago this didn't feel possible this journey of getting to even just this point has been crazy i'll have the playlist linked down below of my entire 2020 experience which you can <laughs> check out and see everything that happened with that. Applying and getting into this program has been a roller coaster. I feel like I'm on rock and roller coaster stuck and it's just absolutely insane. So yeah, it's just, it's insane. I don't even know what to say in this video because it's just been a roller coaster. In 2020, I got into the program after at one point having the dashboard say that I was no longer in consideration and a lot of things happened and I finally got an interview. I interviewed, got into the program, now it to my family in Magic Kingdom and then have my program cancel again you can go watch all of that happen now you're in 2022 and before this program was announced I had applied and gotten into the yummy jobs j1 cultural exchange program for Lowe's hotels and Universal Studios I was set to move down to Orlando for the beginning of June I have two videos for that up on my channel and I've been preparing, packing, telling my family since about the beginning of February. So we've had some time. And then April 8th, everything kind of changed when Disney put out applications for the cultural exchange program this year and said they were going ahead with it with a super tight deadline, but they were doing it, which is super exciting. So obviously, even though I had accepted an offer with Universal, this is my dream. So I did scramble, applied, which I have a video on the entire application process. And then I interviewed on Monday of this week. So today's Friday. So it's super quick. However, offers started going out last night on Thursday and I didn't hear. And then I didn't hear this morning when an offers went out for merchandise and attractions. And I heard about an hour ago. So long after everybody else, I'm still kind of up in the air and going along this roller coaster a little bit because my offer letter actually wasn't completely it looks like someone took my offer letter from 2020 and started making changes to it and then just sent it out to me without it being complete so I'm waiting back to hear about all the little details I'm gonna accept it no matter what but I'm waiting to hear what my role is so I'm not sure right now so I will have to come back to you guys for that but no matter what I have applied I am going and you can catch me down in Florida from June 13th to August 25th potentially a little bit longer at the end because I'll probably want to stay and enjoy myself a little bit after. Obviously due to COVID, I couldn't do like a fun, fun announcement. And also because of the tight timeline, I didn't even know how to like do this video. So it's mostly me talking, but I do have some clips of getting ready to interview, how the interview went, and then this waiting process until I heard telling my mom and dad and telling my brother. So I hope that you guys enjoy those and yeah. I just got a Facebook message from someone saying, check your email CEP applicants. And I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if I have anything, but I thought that I'd film anyways. Oh my God. Jake Kirsch, all right. So they're just, so they're doing the same thing. So the email is for, to attend one of the 30 minute sessions. sessions tomorrow or Tuesday. So. If you watched my application video, um, I said that I, it was like, I applied on Friday, it was Saturday filming, and I thought that I was gonna hear Monday. Well, today's Sunday, and they want us to be on camera for a thing tomorrow at four. I'll probably do it tomorrow just to get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. 
couple of days after your tennis session, you will receive another communication inviting you to a virtual interview on a different day. Be sure to check your email frequently as these interviews will happen very soon. I hope to see you soon. So basically I have an interview. Mm -hmm. I'm trying not to cry on camera. I'm gonna go cry off camera. But that's the update. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to join the Zoom call for our meeting today. So I just did my makeup, showered, blow dried my hair straight, and now I'm joining. So I'm gonna do this thing. I'm not gonna show you because I am joining literally right now. So let's join. Okay, a little impromptu vlog. I'm at my school. I have my proof of student status form from Disney. I'm gonna go see if they can fill it out today even though I haven't interviewed or anything. Cause I'd like to have it done sooner than later. Okay, this clips, oh my God. Filming on my phone in my bed cause I'm actually editing videos right now. But, um, I just got an email from Disney and I have no idea what it is. So it's not interview, <laughs> um, but they sent along on the proof of student forms, which if you saw the clip earlier, clips earlier, I got that from my stuff last year <laughs> and already filled that out. So that's good. And then she also sent a CP fact sheet. So that's really good. And then our recruiter says that they are preparing interview sessions and we'll send them out soon. Be sure to check your email so you're able to schedule the interview time block that best suits your needs. We would look forward to speaking with you. Okay, so my anxiety has peaked around the fact that I was scared that I wasn't going to get an interview for some reason. With the presentation and everything, I knew that that was like the next step. She kind of suggested that everyone was getting an interview, but you never know with these things, right? So for me, there was still some doubt there, but I guess this confirms it. I'm just waiting for the interview time slots. Today is Wednesday, April 13th. So this weekend is Easter, um, which means that lots of things are gonna be shut down. Like I don't work Friday and stuff, so. We'll see, but we're one step closer. And that is the update I have for you guys. Of course, when you see this, it's all just gonna be in the past, but we are just gonna keep chugging along. I actually have my proof status so form right there. <laughs> we're just gonna keep chugging along and everything. I'm a superstitious person also. And 11-11, I know it's like the time that everybody is like 11-11 make a wish, but genuinely that's a time that a significant number in my life. And I all week have looked at the clock basically every every night and every morning at 11-11. So hopefully that would mean something. Yeah, that is the update I have. I will see you guys when I have more news. So I just got the, it, oh my God, okay. Things are changing within seconds. Okay, so I got an email to do a role checklist and literally just now, I just got it in my interview request. <laughs> I'm gonna book my interview, holy crap. <laughs> okay, when's April 18th? That's Monday? That's Easter Monday. Okay, I am doing the first possible interview. I'm interviewing between 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. April 18th. Oh my god, it's booked. <gasps> okay, and then I got sent a roll checklist like five minutes previous. Oh my god, I'm freaking out right now. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm filling out my roll checklist. So basically it looks like this and it gives you all of the options here and you put on whether or not you have high interest, moderate interest, low interest, no interest. This is the same as what it was for 2020. Um, so it has like description and then usually there's a video, but, but I guess it wasn't embedded correctly. There is a lot more roles than what they said. So I'm gonna do this and then it's interview prepping time. I feel like I need to like go shopping, but it's COVID, so probably not. It is Saturday before my interview on Monday and we just set up my background. So this is gonna be what the recruiter sees when you have the call on Monday morning. I'm at my parents' house to do this. Actually, my brother's old room and we have like my program packing as well as our trip packing, but we have a Mickey ring light um, for fun. And then we have, there's like this empty shelf in my brother's room. So we've kind of curated it with some of my favorite Disney memorabilia, like my gargoyle from the Haunted Mansion, Mickey Zum, not Zum Zum, a Mickey, what are these called? Squishmallow. <laughs> oh, you are stressed. Paradise Falls jar, a set of flower and garden ears, my mini 
Nuimo wearing her 50th garb and a popcorn bucket. It's gonna look better than it does right now because I'll have my hair actually done instead of just thrown up in a Mickey clip. I'll be wearing like my interview outfit and makeup done. Also, this is a standing desk if anyone's wondering. So I just made it so that it's like 90 degrees with me, but that's basically the plan. Now we have to plan my interview outfit. This looks super good, so happy with it. I'm very scared that <laughs> gonna look like I'm trying hard, too hard. I mean, I am trying too hard, let's be honest here. But what can a girl do? I just want it to look curated and smart and Disney-ish, but I want it to look effortless. <laughs> I asked for too much, I really do. I guess I can also show you that my top is completely filled out, so that's good to go. Woo okay, good morning. Today's the day of my interview, I'm so anxious. <laughs> I was anxious last night, tried to get ready as much as I can. My outfit's picked and everything. I showered last night, so this morning I just need to do my makeup and do my hair. If I choose to do much with my hair, I might just straighten it. I had planned to wake up, put on a face mask, which I'm still gonna do, but I was gonna go have cotto toast for breakfast and everything. I think I'm too anxious to eat. Like I feel out of, feel very anxious. <laughs> so I'm not gonna do that. I will keep you guys updated with everything I'm doing without it being boring hopefully but that is the plan right now also something super exciting as I'm filming this we are five subscribers away from 2000 that's crazy just did my makeup this is the look it is kind of intense but the idea is that when I'm on zoom because of how like laptop cameras work it's going to be much more diffused so this is the look. I am now going to straighten my hair, I think. I am gonna put on something on my lips before I actually do because I still need to brush my teeth and everything and obviously get dressed. I'm in my PJs, but I'm gonna do that now because we're 40 minutes away from the interview now. I did lay in bed with my mom, my weighted blanket on, and my pets <laughs> with me for a little bit because my anxiety is insane. I don't think any of these clips are gonna be very good because I'm just shaky. I'm so shaky. So we'll see. But that is a plan for now. I am dressed, makeup is done, my hair is straightened. So we're back in like my setup area. There's 10 minutes to the interview. Sadly, it's really dark in here, but hopefully it'll be okay. When I go into photo booth, this is what it looks like. Obviously the lighting isn't super natural, but I think you can still see me and I still think that I look pretty good. Still nervous, but I guess I'm scared that this is too much, but I'm hoping that it looks natural and like how I would Obviously, why would I have an empty shell? <sighs> We're gonna do the interview. Something super exciting, making me feel better. It's we're now only four subscribers away from 2000. So that's super exciting. I am gonna interview and I will let you guys know how it went after. I have to put on AirPods and close the door and everything. So <sighs> nerve wracking, but exciting. <laughs> I'm done my interview. And I think that went so good. Macadamia, what do you think? You weren't there, but <laughs> it went so well. I was very nervous and my recruiter was very quick to make sure that, to say that this is just a casual conversation and I got like the biggest compliment of my entire life. So I'm just ecstatic. I'm going to go change out of my dress because it's a little constricting. Also nice dress, I want to keep it nice, but I feel very confident with what just happened, so I think I'm going to Disney this summer. <laughs> and I feel so good. I should be getting the offer if, if I get one, but I'm not to be cocky, but I, I'm fairly certain I will in the next week or two. And then I need to act fast when it comes. So I'm gonna go get changed, but I think that now I need to celebrate because that was, I was so anxious. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm gonna go put on a spirit jersey and some comfy pants and I don't really have anything to do but hang out with my mom today, so. <gasps> I'm so excited. <laughs> so today, I hit 2,000 subscribers. We have a 2,000 cake and I got balloons. <laughs> but I'm very happy, this is insane. We're getting sushi, not only to celebrate the 2,000 but also to my Disney interview. But it's just looking amazing. <gasps> Ta-da! We spent that evening enjoying some champagne, sushi, and watching Flamingo Crossing move in blocks. Okay, 
Um, I just got a notification on Facebook of someone saying to check their emails because an offer went out. So I'm checking. Absolutely nothing. All right. They got an offer for quick service food and beverage though. So I guess maybe it's going out in waves by roll. So I'm just going to keep hoping. So little update. It's the same day that the first wave of offer <laughs> just went out. I came to my parents' house because I was having a bit of a panic attack since I haven't received anything. It's like two hours later. Still haven't received anything. So we're going for a hot tub to relax. <laughs> and that's where we're at. So I'm just going to relax and have some support with my parents. But hopefully I hear soon. Okay, hey guys. It is the next day. Can't tell by like the yellow bruising around my eyes. I have been crying a lot. I'm very tired because <sighs> didn't hear last night. And about two and a half hours ago, more offers went out, including Merchant Attractions. It's time and I haven't heard anything. So that's really hard, but I got dressed in like a cute outfit. So I'm wearing like a corset top, flare leggings and a comfy thing. And now my mom and I are gonna have some tea. I've taken Tylenol because of the amount of crying. And we're just gonna try to relax because I need to, but yeah. Also my bangs are way too long. I need to trim them. But I've emailed a recruiter to ask about status and everything, so we'll see what happens. You got it? I got it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a traumatizing but very happy day. How traumatizing? Oh, major. M major breakdowns. Uh-oh. But I just got in. Okay, that's what I was expecting. But hours after everyone else, and my offer page has the wrong dates because it still has my 2020 ones. And 20. no, 20, yeah, no, 2020 ones. No 20, rate of pay, 20. and I don't know what role I got. But I'm in. <laughs> that is from getting ready to the interview to where we are right now. And this is where we are. We're just waiting for the next steps. <laughs> I am super excited and I cannot wait. I'll actually be down in Orlando in two weeks. Official trip announcement with all those details is coming very soon. But if you haven't already subscribed to this channel because there is so much fun content coming. Like I have so many pre -DC I guess now pre-DCP videos to film as well as some other Disney Park videos and things like that that are gonna be coming out. We just finished my October trip series so you can go back and watch that as well. You can also follow me on Instagram and I will be endlessly thankful if you did because starting in two weeks, we are gonna be having a whole nother trip because I have my early May trip and then very shortly after, it's going to be right into driving down to Orlando and starting the DCP and all the adventures and move and everything. So the best, so I'll definitely be updating stories as well as my Instagram page. Also, let's just be Disney friends on Instagram. So yeah, let's see where this takes us. The lighting is terrible in this area that I'm sitting right now. I'm actually editing this video right now. My mom just left. So sadly, she's not here to see this, but I just got an email. <laughs> I got a second offer. Woo! Um, it's actually just somebody who fixed everything for me. So I'm going in now and I'm gonna re-log in to talk. Here we go, Thank you offer. So I got it to merchandise. Oh, it's all looking good. I have it scrolled down right now because it has my parents' address on this. <laughs> but I got merchandise. Your girls work in merchandise which was my number one role, so I'm just very excited. Also, we get $14 USD per hour, which is kind of crazy because the minimum wage in my province is just over $14 an hour Canadian, with so a, with a 30% exchange rate, like we're making like $17 Canadian an hour. Merchandise roles in Canada would never, that's all I'm gonna say. But I'm gonna accept my offer tonight, so I might put a small clip of that in the end right after this clip. So it is time to accept the offer. And everything's here. Gotta review my offer. And now everything's correct. We're waiting on mom right now. Macadamia's here too. All right, 
Do you accept the offer? Choose yes. Yes, I accept. Choose wisely. Submit. I accepted my offer! Yay! It's done! Now what happens? Oh wait, are you sure? Your response has been sent. Well, I guess it's too late now. It's too late now. I'm doing it! Congratulations. <laughs> we have changed our hotel for going down, so I've got a reservation at Key West. Old Key West. For day before move-in and day of move-in. We got some of my favorite Indian food, which if you're in Ottawa or Winnipeg, highly recommend East India Company. And now we're gonna watch some Disney videos or maybe a Disney movie because last night I was too sad too. So now we have to make up for it. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. It was all over the place, but I'll see y'all real soon. Bye.